Welcome to the annual autumn festival in the quaint town of Maplewood, where the air is crisp and filled with the scent of spiced cider. The streets are alive with laughter, vibrant pumpkins line the pathways, and historical reenactors in period costumes engage the crowd. Amongst this lively scene is Clara Thompson, a 16-year-old with curly brown hair and bright green eyes, clutching her notebook tightly. Her heart races with excitement and a hint of insecurity as she dreams of becoming a detective. As she navigates through the bustling streets, her gaze falls upon Professor Harold Finch, a tall, thin man with graying hair, passionately discussing local history. His scowl hints at a rivalry, whispered about among the townsfolk. Suddenly, a commotion erupts from the library's rare book section, drawing Clara's attention. Her instincts kick in, and she rushes toward the source of the disturbance, where Sheriff Tom Harris, stocky and rugged, is already cordoning off the area. The festive atmosphere fades into a chilling silence as Clara catches sight of Professor Finch's lifeless body, a historical tome clutched in his hand. Determined to uncover the truth, Clara vows to prove herself, not just to the town, but to herself. The rare book section of the town library, once a haven for history enthusiasts, now stands as a crime scene. Scattered books litter the floor, and the air is thick with tension. Sheriff Tom Harris, with his stocky build and rugged demeanor, is in command, his voice authoritative as he instructs the crowd to clear the area. Clara Thompson, standing on the periphery, feels a surge of determination. Her eyes are fixed on the lifeless body of Professor Harold Finch, a historical tome still clutched in his hand. The vibrant festival atmosphere has been replaced by a chilling silence, the gravity of the situation settling over the onlookers. Clara's mind races with questions. What could have led to this tragic event? Who would want to harm the professor? As the sheriff begins his preliminary investigation, Clara takes mental notes, observing the scene with a keen eye. She notices the professor's scowl, now frozen in death, and recalls the whispers of rivalry she had overheard. The pieces of the puzzle are scattered, much like the books around her, and Clara is determined to fit them together. Her heart beats with a mix of fear and excitement, knowing this is her chance to prove herself as a detective. As the investigation unfolds, Sheriff Tom Harris begins interviewing festival goers who might have witnessed anything unusual. Clara, standing nearby, listens intently, her notebook ready to capture any detail that might be of significance. The sheriff's questions are precise, his tone professional, as he seeks to piece together the events leading to the professor's demise. Clara observes the body language of those being questioned, noting any signs of nervousness or hesitation. Her resolve is unwavering. She is determined to contribute to the investigation. The tension in the air is palpable, a stark contrast to the earlier festive mood. Clara's mind is a whirlwind of thoughts, each observation a potential clue. She recalls the professor's passionate discussion about local history and wonders if it holds any relevance to the crime. As the sheriff continues his methodical questioning, Clara's eyes scan the room, searching for anything out of place. Her instincts tell her that the answer lies within the details, and she is committed to uncovering the truth. The professional dynamics between the sheriff and the townsfolk are evident, each interaction a dance of authority and compliance. Clara knows that every piece of evidence gathered is a step closer to solving the mystery. Thank you for joining us on this intriguing journey through the streets of Maplewood, where the annual Autumn Festival has taken a dark turn. As Clara Thompson navigates the complexities of the investigation, her determination to uncover the truth is unwavering. The mystery surrounding Professor Harold Finch's untimely death is far from resolved, and the tension continues to build. We invite you to stay tuned to the Storyteller channel for further developments in this captivating case. As the investigation progresses, Clara's detective work will be put to the test, and the pieces of the puzzle will slowly come together. Will she be able to prove herself and bring justice to the professor? The suspense is palpable and the resolution of this case promises to be as thrilling as the journey itself. Don't miss out on the next chapter of this gripping story. Subscribe to Storyteller for more updates and join us as we delve deeper into the mystery.
Your engagement and curiosity drive the narrative forward, and we look forward to unraveling the secrets of Maplewood together.